everyone! Welcome back to Glam Fam Knows How! It's me, Ava! And with me today are the famous traveling vlogging duo, the Travel Twins, Michaela and Michael. Hello! Excited to be here! OMG! The studio looks so festive! Thank you! Today, we're celebrating a famous December holiday. Can you guess which one? Here's a hint! Its colors are red, green, and black. Here's another clue. We greet everyone by saying Habari Gani, which means what is the news? Here is your final hint. It lasts for seven days and honors African heritage and Black American culture. It's Kwanzaa. It's our family's favorite holiday. Our parents love to travel, just like us, especially to Africa, where our ancestors are from. Kwanzaa helps us connect to our roots. We love to celebrate by decorating our home. We use Ghanaian cloths called kente and make displays out of fruits and homemade items. I love all things homemade. That's why a Kwanzaa display is the perfect craft for our show. We'll use items from the studio so our display is extra special. And Michael and I will share more about how we celebrate this amazing holiday in our home. Okay then, let's get crafting. Kwanzaa is an American holiday created in 1966 by Dr. Maulana Karanga. It's based on African harvest festivals and lasts for seven days, starting December 26th. That's why the display has seven candles. Exactly! Each day is dedicated to celebrating a different principle that helps make our community strong, like creativity, responsibility, and unity. On day six, we have an awesome feast called Karamu, which you know I love. <laughs> the word Kwanzaa means first fruit. The displays always include traditional crops like corn and fruit. Oh, beautiful and delicious. And on day seven, we exchange books and homemade gifts. Homemade? You know I love a good DIY gift. I read that millions of Americans celebrate Kwanzaa, and the number is growing. Yes! Many cultures are welcome to celebrate Kwanzaa, but it's important to be respectful of its traditions and origins. Looks like we're ready to light the first candle. Each color of the candles has its own meaning. Red is the color of three of the seven candles, representing the struggle. Green is the color of another three candles, representing the land and hope for the future. And black is the color of one of the candles, representing people of African descent and stands for unity. Now that the display is finished, it's time to dance. Wait, what? Every night during Kwanzaa, we each come up with a fun dance routine for our vlog, and the family has to follow along. It's super fun. We'd love to show you our routine. Wow, OK. I'm not a dancer, though. That's totally fine. which means unity. <laughs> Remember, when you want to make it fabulous, the, the Glam Man knows, knows how. how. See ya. <laughs> Welcome back to Glam Fam Knows How. It's me, Ava. Don't you just love the holidays? I do. It's the perfect time of year to give to others. But really, you can do it all year round. My guest today knows all about giving. She's a volunteer at our local community center. Say hello to Maritza. Hi, Ava. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's so inspiring how you help your community. Thank you. I have two passions in life, soccer and helping others. My family loves to celebrate the holiday season by giving back. This year, I really want to give the kids at the community center who celebrate Christmas an amazing holiday. And I love your help. I have a great craft idea for this. Today, we're making homemade Christmas stockings. We can decorate the center and fill them with fun stuffers. I love this idea. <laughs> Let's get crafting. For today's craft, we'll need felt, rhinestones, toothpick, tinsel, or ribbons, embroidery floss or string, pom-poms, cotton balls, hole punch, craft glue, glitter, safety scissors, tape, 
Did you know that hanging stockings originated in Europe? Many legends say it all started with Saint Nick. He learned of a father of three sisters who needed money, and he wanted to help. So one night, he snuck into the house and put gold coins in their socks. Wow, that's pretty cool! I learned that some countries hang their stockings on the bedpost, and some put out shoes like my family. My parents are from Mexico and Bolivia, where they celebrate El Dia de los Reyes on January 6th to honor the three wise men. We leave our shoes out to receive small gifts from them. OMG, a holiday with shoes? Ah, yes! <laughs> put anything inside a stocking, as long as it fits. Coins, candy, lip gloss, colorful rocks, and games are my favorites. Hey, Ava, what part of the body do you put a stocking on? Mistletoe! <laughs> <laughs> and now, my favorite part. Let's decorate our stockings by gluing in fun pom-poms or adding in rhinestones. The best part is that we can express ourselves any way we want. Kids will love these! They'll be so surprised! <laughs> Speaking of surprises, I've been practicing soccer, so we can play with the kids. That's so cool, Ava! I'm still a beginner, but maybe you can teach me some fun tricks. Love to! We'll start with footwork. Move your feet, but keep the ball still. Hey! You got it! I do! <laughs> you okay? Hey, the ball didn't move. <laughs> Let's try passing. I'll kick the ball to you, and you pass it back to me. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> That's okay. One more try. Yes! Hi! <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. How can you help give this holiday season? Happy holidays, and remember, if you want to make it fabulous, the Glam Fam knows how. <laughs> See ya! Hello everyone, welcome back to Glam Fam Knows How. I'm Ava, and I'm just adding the finishing touches to decorate our studio for an upcoming holiday. Can you guess which holiday we're celebrating? Here's a hint, it lasts for eight days. It's known as the Festival of Lights. That's right, it's Hanukkah. I'm so excited because one of my BFFs and classmates is here to help tell us more about it. Say hello to Maya. Hi, Ava. Hi, OMG, I love your dress. Thank you. My family is having a Hanukkah dinner tonight. Blue and white are the traditional colors. I love it. Can you tell us about some of the things you do to celebrate this holiday with your family? Happy to. We have two very important traditions, playing the dreidel game and lighting a candle on the menorah each night for eight days. Perfect. This brings us to today's craft. We're going to make traditional clay dreidels and our own creative menorahs We're using materials in our studio. Okay, let's get crafting. Here is what we'll need. Foam board, bottle cap, plastic bubble containers, colored sand, Mod Podge, glitter, my favorite ingredient, <laughs> acrylic paint, air dry clay, binder clip, toothpicks, craft glue, tape, safety scissors, tool, and straws. Hanukkah means rededication, and it's all about honoring the Jewish faith that people fought to protect. Each night during Hanukkah, we do blessings, light the menorah candles, and eat delicious fried foods in honor of the oil that lasted for eight days. My favorites are jelly donuts called sufganyot and potato pancakes called latkes. Mmm, sounds so delicious. A menorah holds nine candles, one for each night, plus the shamash, a helper candle that lights the other candles. You light the shamash first, and one candle on the far right side of the Hanukkah. Each night, you add a candle and light the newest candle first, moving left to right. I read that the largest menorah is in New York City. It's 32 feet high and weighs over two tons. I wonder how they light those candles. And our beautiful and super creative menorah is done. Now it's time to make the dreidel. First, we'll roll out small balls of air dry clay and tap out the sides against a table to create these cute rectangle shapes. A dreidel is a spinning top that has four sides and each side has a Hebrew letter. It's a super fun game. I can show you how to play it when we're done. Awesome. And now I will paint the Hebrew symbols that Maya taught me on each side with blue acrylic paint. Did you know there are over 20 different ways to spell Hanukkah? This word comes from the Hebrew language, which uses a different alphabet than English. <laughs> and done. Okay, here are the rules. 
We start with an equal number of chocolate gelt. We each add one piece to the middle and then spin the dreidel. N stands for nun, which means nothing. H or hey means you get half of the coins. Shin or S is for share, so you have to put another gelt in. And G or gimel means you get all of the coins. Okay, it's your turn. Gimel, you win! This is my new favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. Thanks for tuning in today. Wishing you a very happy Hanukkah. I'll see you soon. And remember, if you want to make it fabulous, the Glam Fam knows how.